Hey everybody, Dr. Jocelyn here with the M Vitality Wellness Center. Let me make sure we are up and live. I think everything is good. So, Dr. Jocelyn here at the M Vitality Wellness Center, your guys' chiropractor here in the South Denver area. Um, we had a little technical difficulties on Friday. I definitely shot our video at the time that we were supposed to, but it didn't post for some reason. So um, we're redoing it today. So <laughs> hope everybody didn't miss out too much. We're gonna do pretty much the same thing we did on Friday since it didn't uh, show up properly. Um, but today I wanna hit a really important topic for you guys. Um, it's one that I get a ton of questions about in the office, and that is cholesterol. Cholesterol is a really big deal. Um, if a lot of people have had a physical in the last year, most people have had like their total cholesterol pulled on a basic blood panel with their primary care physician, um, and then their, their physician has some opinions. They might talk about LDL with you. They might talk about HDL with you. They might talk about total cholesterol with you. Um, if it's too high, if it's too low, they might be talking statins with you if, if they feel like you need to block some things. Um, so, got a couple people popping on here. Hey Robin, hey Jerry, good to see everybody. Um, so today I just want to talk really briefly about why is cholesterol this big evil thing that we keep talking about. We see it all the time in the media. We see it all the time when we come up to our yearly physical um, that it's a piece that they want to focus on. So I just want to talk about a little bit about the history of it and our special event that we're having um, this Thursday evening. So this Thursday evening, um, one of our Wellness Way docs will be doing a live broadcast that we're hosting in our office. Um, you get to come in and hang out and get a ton of great information. Um, his name is Dr. Greg and he will dive what I'm gonna briefly go over today. He will just dive way into all this stuff even deeper and give you a, a huge understanding of all this stuff and you'll really walk away well informed um, and, and you'll really understand why um, cholesterol is really medicine's big scapegoat. So I just want to first talk about the real big study that kind of put cholesterol on the map of why we want to be checking it. Um, so in 1953, Dr. Ansel Keys published his very famous Seven Countries Study. So this is a study that you can go pull up um, on PubMed, it's out there on the internet as well, several places. Um, and what's interesting is there was actually originally 22 countries in this study, but he decided to show the results that he wanted to, that he would cherry pick the seven countries that created the correlation that he wanted to see. So what he really wanted to see, because it helped him make a big splash in his medical career um, as a researcher, uh, was that as the more animal consumption and the higher uh, animal fat consumption, uh, your risk for heart disease went up. Your cholesterol levels went up, your risk for heart disease went up, and for heart-related conditions. So that's what he found in the study by cherry-picking these seven countries um, so what's interesting is if you actually put back in all the data that he originally started his study with, and there's 22 countries from all over the world with people eating all types of diets, there's absolutely no correlation between high cholesterol and heart disease and higher meat consumption and heart disease. There's just, there's nothing if you put all that data back together that promotes any of that. Um, another big thing is like arterial plaquing, um, and different types of heart issues um, that patients might be concerned with. Uh, uh, arterial sclerosis is another big one. Um, so all those types of things actually showed when you went back to this study that all his research um, was false. It didn't really show anything, but this is actually the study that kind of put cholesterol on the map and made it aware and kind of kind of started us on this fat phobic diet where people are afraid of fat, they think it's bad for them, which is just not true, you guys. Healthy fats are very, very good for you, especially when they're sourced properly. Um, you know, a big thing right now, especially that you see in the media all the time, is LDL. LDL is considered our evil cholesterol. We don't want LDL too high. 
Um, well, I'm going to talk to you today about why LDL and HDL are so important and you actually need both. Um, so what LDL does, the best way to think about it is it's like military soldiers that are getting deployed from the liver. So the liver sees some things out in the body that it needs to take care of um, with cholesterol. Because cholesterol, you guys, is in every single cell in the body. Um, it's part of all our cell membranes. So if you have any type of irritation or injury going on in the body, you need cholesterol to repair those cells. You also need cholesterol for your hormones. Hormones are a huge piece of how we function every day. And so we actually want cholesterol in the body as a piece of that. Um, it's really important. Um, so LDL is like our little soldiers. They get deployed out of the liver to go out into the body and bring things to the cells. Bring cholesterol out if we need to repair things. Bring different things out from the liver. Um, and all it is um, is basically this little scavenger kind of like a soldier that goes out into the body. HDL does the complete opposite. So you can think of HDL like the ships and like our soldiers that are full on the ships coming back into the liver, back into the base. And their job is to collect things and bring them back once they're out into the bloodstream. So once HD, LDL excuse me, has dropped everything off, it's HDL's job to bring everything back into the liver so that it can be recycled, which is also really, really important. Um, Looks like we got a couple more people coming on. Hey, Jared. Hey, Dr. Joe. Great to see everybody. Um, so HDL is equally important. It's like our soldiers returning back to base. They collect old cholesterol that's been used and dropped off. Um, and it's just kind of the recycler. So it's really important that you've got the LDL going out, dropping stuff off, and you've got the HDL coming back in um, and bringing things back in after they've been used. Um, so it's not that LDL is evil or that HDL is good. You really do need both um, to function properly. And total cholesterol levels, you really got to dive deeper, you guys. Just a number on a piece of paper doesn't show us anything. And then the treatment for it is even worse. Um, I also just wanted to quickly touch on some of the side effects that have been reported from statin drugs and cholesterol lowering medications. Um, so this is what's been reported to the FDA adverse event reporting system. So this is the reporting system for medications with patients and their doctors. When they have major issues, they report to this system and it's a federal tracking and database for all these things. So literally, I just pulled these statistics last week, you guys. 13,290 complaints of depression by being on statins or cholesterol-lowering medications. Like I said before, you guys, cholesterol is used all over the body for all kinds of processes. So if you are pulling it down to a level that isn't good for that person, of course you're going to cause other issues in the body like depression. Um, the other way that they categorized the other complaints was 9,044 other complaints. This could be fatigue, this could be um, headaches, it could be digestive issues, like literally spams, all these other things. Uh, statins are also proven to lower your vitamin D. Vitamin D is highly important for all kinds of functions in the body as well. So you don't wanna be lowering that in the body, it'll actually increase your risk for things like cancer. Um, so I hope that gives you guys some really good information today. Um, if you'd like to learn more, we'd love to have you hanging out with the office with us. Um, I posted the link with the video. All you have to do is register. We'll be streaming Dr. Greg's um, class Friday evening at starting at 5 our time here in the office. Um, you'll get a whole lot more education than what I just gave you. But I hope that gives you some really good ways to interpret if you've had some of this lab work done recently to understand that it's not just a numbers game, you guys. It has to be deeper. It has to go more with your health um, and looking just beyond numbers because everybody knows we're all individual. We're all made differently. So, of course, you have to treat every patient differently, which is exactly what every wellness way office across the country does. You can't be treated the same way that another person gets um, looked at and their plan and everything about them is different. Even if you guys come in with the same issues, 
we're all different, so we all have to be looked at differently, rebuilt differently. Of course, that would make sense. Um, so I hope that helps, and we'll be seeing you guys every Friday. Comment below if you have some topics you want me to cover. Sorry this didn't get posted on time, but every Friday at 1.30, we'll be coming to you live, and definitely some good tidbits in between. Have a great day, you guys.